And right off the bat, I want you to know something. This is not a prepared speech. Sure. Yeah. So, no, it's true. It's not prepared. So I just want you to know something. I was so amazed with what Rizwan did because Rizwan does not watch Indian movies. So I don't know where he got this idea to do what he did. I did it too. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> And Najib and Samir, they never watch Indian movies, and here they were. But the best part was I got Rafiq on the video doing this thing, so I can blackmail him. So, for the, you know, it's a great time to be here with family and friends. I just want you to know that this half of the hall knows me, and they put up with me. This half, I'm Adil Uncle, and I'm sorry. <laughs> you will just have to learn to put up with me. I apologize, I apologize, but you'll have to learn to put up with me. So what I thought I would do over here is give some advice to my nephew. And I just want you to, all of you to know that my nieces and nephews just like my children, mean a lot to me. So I'm giving this advice to you, Rizwan. Where are you? This is for you. You know, people will say about marriage, marriage is this and marriage is that, and you have to agree to everything what your wife says. I personally disagree with that. I think it's a process that you go through that you have to learn over the years. I've been married for 25 years. I'm still learning. So what you need to do is, you know, people will tell you, say, yes, darling, yes, this, but it's substantially more than that. It's not just that. It's substantially more than that. And so let me take you back all the way in to 1986 when I got married. And uh, uh, I was, you know, a few months into my marriage. And I'm giving you this example as to why I'm saying this. The reason I'm saying this is it's not a question of just saying, yes, darling, and everything else. I've found a method for us to deal with our marriages. And it's not just saying, yes, darling. It's a question of having a changing checklist. Now understand this very clearly. What is, what is a changing checklist? By the way, you guys, I want you to know this. I'm appearing in Oprah and Dr. Phil next year, so don't take my ideas, okay? <laughs> what is a changing checklist? I'll give you an example. A few months into my marriage, I was going to work, and I had toast in the morning. You know, you put in two slices of toast, and you know those things that you have that you uh, close your bread with? You know, that plastic thing? Guys don't do that. They just throw out the plastic bag, they turn around and flip it upside down. <laughs> Isn't it true? Most of the guys will do that. They don't care about that plastic twiggy, twiggy thing that goes in there. That's not relevant. Well, when I, got, when I got home, my wife was there, and of course she told me all the things about how the germs get into the bread and this and that. There is a reason why you buy bread at Seven Foods or Superstore with a plastic thing. You need to put it back. We had an argument, but of course, I had to give up on that argument because... Because I'm always right. Because my wife is right. So, of course, I said, okay, that's fine. I'll do that. I won't do the plastic thing. So, you know, I said to myself, this marriage advice that I got from people is not working out. I need to do a checklist. So I went in there and I created an Excel press suite. Next time when you use your bread, make sure you use the plastic thing to put it in there. Worked out well for the checklist. A few weeks later, I had already left for work. My wife was the last one, and of course she likes toast just like I do. I came back home, and guess what? I found the bread 
in a plastic bag that was torn around upside down. <laughs> Do you see me glowing over here, right? <laughs> I'm saying to myself, wow, this is great. She did exactly what I did, so I'm not having dinner till she comes home. So I can explain this to her, that she did exactly the same thing. So before I even start, I said, Virgin, you see this bread? You twirled it around and flipped it upside down. She goes, when it's less than four slices, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> I went and changed my checklist into changing checklist. So what I want you to do is I want you to understand these things will happen. You need to adjust and you need to move on. Right? You can't hold them responsible for these things. So I just thought I should give you, for the rest of you, this guys, this is me. As, as I said before, I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, be before I exit from here, um, that's off to your wife. <laughs> before I go from here, I've got a thing that I have to read out to you. So bear with me, please. Uh, I just want you to know that I've been happily married for f 25 years. My wife is beautiful. She is very generous. Hey, Burgess, this is your handwriting. Guys, okay, I swear this is just a few words, okay? <laughs> There's so many speeches up here, I don't know which one to take, so hold on. First of all, Shaz and I would like to thank all of you for coming and joining us on this special occasion. We are truly blessed to have such wonderful family and friends with us here tonight. Without everyone's help, this event wouldn't, wouldn't have happened. happened. So thank you very much. We have <laughs> Everybody put countless time and effort into all of this. And honestly, we sat back, relaxed, and let them take over. So thank you very much to all our friends and family. A lot of you have come from far and wide to uh, share in this moment with us. And again, we truly appreciate it. Um, yes, we have people from Toronto as well. We're Vancouver Canucks fans. I'm sorry, where are the Toronto Maple Leafs? Oh, but actually Canucks are there too. So tonight is meant to be one big party. It's uh, not meant to be anything formal or anything like that. That's Sunday. That's when I get nervous. Today I'm fine. So I'll actually be dancing. So it's all good. But today is just, let's get, you know what, let's eat, let's have fun, and let's party. I've heard and been told that the musicians tonight are going to be playing some really good music. Supposedly some really upbeat, hot, new hit songs. Hot songs, there you go. So, um, I, there's no excuse for all of you guys to be on the dance floor because these guys are going to rip it up up here, so I want to see all of you on the dance floor. I, I swear, this time I will come. The engagement, I was a little bit nervous, but this time I'm okay with it. So like I said, this is just one big party, so let's enjoy and party like there's no tomorrow. Let's have fun, guys.
there you go. That was an awesome slideshow, Anja for us. Good job, guys. Excellent job. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Summer, Riz's youngest brother. I've been told I'm the best looking by some people. Who am I to argue with these people? This side of the room knows me. This side of the room, you may not know me, so I'm sorry. Um, that was really nice of you guys to do that for Shaz. I never knew she looked like that. Let's go. 